Hello creatures! Today I'm here to demo two of these holiday kits from Danessa Myricks Beauty. I haven't tried a lot from Danessa Myricks Beauty but I do have a bunch of these blushes from her line and I actually like them quite a lot. So when they came out with this new shade which is Cool Tone Pink apparently I had to get it. Also these. I do have another shade of these small flakes but I never ended up trying them. That was like a couple of years ago. I, I think I still have them somewhere but by this time they're probably dried out. So this is kind of a first impressions for all of these things and let's go. So this one is the Blurring Buddies kit. It has one Blurring Balm Powder Universal and one Blurring Balm Powder, I think, blush in the shade It Girl. This I already tried in my Sephora try-on haul and this kind of reminds me of like a putty primer kind of situation except it's very easy to apply on the skin, melts very quickly. I think this might be more suited towards people with oily skin because the Opsalite technology in this product is apparently used to absorb the oils and keep you like oil and shine free. So I think this is a good product for oily skin. I, on the other hand, have dry skin. I did apply it before foundation in my previous video, but I didn't notice a lot of difference. But I do intend on trying this, but as the winter season approaches, I don't think this is going to work that well. I think the potential of this as a product can really be seen when it's summer, but as we go into Canadian winters, I don't think I'm going to see much of a difference. Let's put on some blush. This is a very pretty light pinky kind of shade. And the other one that comes in a single that they have in the line is Prima Donna and that is more of a reddish pink or a warmer pink. So this one is a cool tone pink and I really like this color. I'm going to apply it with my Sephora Pro 47 brush, which is my favorite brush for this kind of product. A lot got onto the brush, so we're gonna have to go a little carefully. Ooh, I think that should be enough for both cheeks, but very pretty. Do I want to go overboard? Yes, yes I do. Okay, so I'm just gonna drape it around all over because that is what we do. If I could put it all over my face, I probably would. But that's not what we're doing today. It's a little oilier than I expected it to be. Okay. I feel like this formula is just a little bit different from the ones I tried earlier this year. Those were a little bit more blurring, not as shiny, and had a little bit more color payoff than this. I think I prefer that formula over this one, although the color is pretty, at least in here. I will have to keep trying it and see how I feel. Because right now, I'm not 100% sold. Next, I have this cute little thing. This is the Dynamic Chrome Duo Kit. It has the infinite chrome flakes in confetti and the color fix foils in the shade Rock Candy. That was very small writing. I've never tried the color fixes. Let's pop it on the eyes. By the way, this atrocity that I'm wearing on my lips right now is... By the way, this atrocity that I'm wearing on my lips right now is a Laura Mercier lipstick in the shade Bliss. This is supposed to have glitter in it, but it just looks like my lips are somehow diseased or something. It, I don't like it. Anywho, let's apply the color fix. Oh, oh no, oh no, it's coming out. And it's just, look at this, it's coming out and it won't stop, bro. 
No, 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 no. What do I wipe it off with? Oh dear. Look at this situation. What a situation we have. That does look like a nice color though. So the holiday season is in full swing and Black Friday scams are just round the corner. I wonder what everyone is going to pick up. There are so many things on so many people's wish lists and let's see if they can actually get a discount worth having. Which, spoiler alert, many won't because yes you heard that correctly there are going to be a bunch of scams going around so beware what many brands do in my experience and it has already started in in some places what they do is they raise the original prices and then they slash them and then they say oh look it's 40 percent off but if you put the stuff in the card and you look at the total it would probably be like any regular time of the year and the deals are just some of those deals are really scammy they're not really deals so watch out these companies these brands these businesses they think that they think consumers are stupid, but what I've been seeing is that the consumers have a lot of awareness and they know when they're being duped. So there is that. Okay, it won't fucking stop leaking. This is so annoying. How the heck am I supposed to close this? It just keeps coming and coming and coming. And I've put as much as I could possibly put on my eyes. I'm gonna just close it the way it is. It is gorgeous though. Very metallic, very shiny. Pretty. But definitely these color fixes are very overpriced. These little tubes this one is a special color, of course. This has some glitter in it and all that. But why are the rest of them so overpriced? Like the matte ones or... There was a time when I considered buying a few of these to try, but I just never got around to it. I was just never really drawn in. Because I think these little tubes of color, their prices should not be this high. So let's zoom in and take a look. So this shade is not completely opaque. If I look like this, I can see some parts of my eyelid skin still coming through. So it's not opaque, it's kind of toppery, but it's very wet metallic looking. I like that. I'm going to pop on some flakes on top and see how that goes. Here is the inside and it looks divine. There's like little flakes in there star looking flakes very cute i don't just want them on my eyes i want them on my face too which i might just do which i just might end up doing Ooh, it's like i have stars on my eyes but it did take away a little bit of a patch here I'm not sure if i should be doing this with a finger though Let's use a brush again.
a little extra, but I love it. And this is how it turned out. Let's take a closer look. So this is how it's looking. Right now, my eyes and the place on the cheeks where I applied this looks very sparkly, but the feeling of it is like it's turning very tight. It's drying up on my eyes and it's turning into crusty little pieces, basically, on my eyes. I can see it kind of breaking apart like, like when pieces of ice kind of float away from each other on the surface of the ocean. Not sure what that phenomenon is called, but there you go, that's what it is. That's actually what it looks like, but what it feels like is like a tight feeling, as if my eyes are somehow shrinking and same goes for my cheeks. But it looks very pretty, it has like a pink, blue, gold kind of sheen going on. It looks cute. I don't mind it too much. I would say it's not my most favorite kind of product. Then again, I don't think I have found a liquid eyeshadow or these flaky kind of things that really I'd say is my favorite product. So if it looks kind of cute, it's okay. I'm not sure how long it's gonna last either but the way it's setting down it feels like it is holding on to something at least i think it's cool if if you want that kind of holiday party look i'd say go for it but it is it is quite textured on the lids so if you don't want that kind of look maybe this might not be for you i don't regret spending the money but Probably not my favorite formula either. And I'd say if these weren't put together in these little kits, I probably would not have bought them separately. That's all for this try-on. I will be doing an updated review on this. But it was fun trying on some sparkly holiday makeup and more will be coming soon. And I will see you in the next video.